I always loved books as a child, so I was horrified to find I had $100 worth of fines on my library card. I started to save up right away, and after a month, I saved enough to pay the fines back. I went to the library immediately. When I entered, I walked straight up to the librarian and gave them my card and paid the fine. After that was done, I went to look at the books. I started over at to the fiction sections. I only like fiction books and looked around. Most of the books either looked incredibly stupid or I had already read them. But then I found the old book. The old book, I called it, both because it looked very old and because it seemed to have no title. I flipped through the, old, the pages a little and saw that the printing was very old. Whatever the book, the old book was, it was a first print. I was interested, and I walked back to the librarian and asked to check it out. She looked over the book for a moment puzzled, then told me that it was not a library book. She had no idea where it had come from. She told me if I wanted it that bad, I could keep it. I smiled and did a little jump, and went back went home to read it. At home I flipped through the pages of the old book a little more. Um, it mysteriously said nothing about who wrote it. The next few pages held an introduction. I scanned for key words about the book. If I had read the book intro in full, nothing may have happened. I found the phrase Book of the Beast. Free it from the next universe, and it will destroy all life. I entered it into Google and looked. Most of the sites had nothing to do with it, but eventually I happened across to come across something that seemed relevant. It was a 4chan archive of X. Of all things, the post read, Do not read the Book of the Beast. For it will free it from the next universe, and all it shall do is destroy the life it hates. I shall hide it. The book of the beast cannot be destroyed. Do not open it. Do not read it. Hide it and keep it trapped forever. The rest of the posts were pretty much just complaints about how the much of a fag the OP is. Nothing from OP. This, of course, only made me want to read it more. I shut off my computer and sat in a cozy spot and read. I skipped over the introduction. I never really liked them. And got to chapter one. I began the reading. Looking back at it, all the words were pretty much gibberish. But I remember it. It's strangely making sense to me when I was reading it. Kinda like how you dream about something completely weird. It makes sense in a dream, but when, when you wake up, it makes no sense whatsoever. I finished chapter one and went on. To my dismay, the rest of the book was just the same chapter, repeated over and over again. I flipped through it until I got to the final page. The final page was a bl mostly blank, except for a short sentence in the middle of the book, in the middle of the page. It read, I am free. At that moment, I blacked out. When I awoke, I was in a strange dark place. I looked around startled and found myself looking at. It was hard to describe, for it was very undetailed and vague, and I can't remember much of it. 
also kind of like in a dream. The strange thing roared and flew up into the massive portal-like thing in the sky. It left a message lingering in the air. I couldn't hear it at first. The ringing in my ear from the roar was very loud, but I slowly began to make it out. I am free. All life so far. I am free. All life so far. blacked out again when I came to it I was standing outside of my home in the backyard I had the book in my hand when I flipped through it it was all blank as if the words had never been there I dropped it once more and fell to the ground and blacked out once more unconscious I saw things I saw the whole universe, bird's eye view. I saw the galaxy backing out slowly until the entire thing was gone. I awoke in the hospital bed. My mother was sitting near me in hysteria. She said I had sleepwalked up to her room, covered in dirt, yelling crazy, crazed about the end of life. I had passed out and hit my head, so she brought me to the hospital. I managed to calm her down and asked her about the old book. She said she had no idea what I was talking about. To this day, I have no idea what happened to the old book. All I know, it's coming, slow but surely. It's starting up at the end of the universe and slowly making its way to us destroying everything in its path soon you'll hear stories about how the stars